Oh, it's on. Hey, this uh, this first problem is about that number, that equation rather, that Shane just throwed through at a throw. Holy cow! <laughs> Where velocity was plus or minus the maximum velocity times the square root of that relationship right there. And I'm wondering how she got that. What's the origin of that equation? So you try to figure that out. It's kind of um, kind of a fun quest to be on. The next one is about uh, quick frozen weasels, like uh, like they were on sale. So you got a few, and you're doing an experiment with one of them, and it's shaking on a bed spring, right? But then you get a tougher spring, twice as tough. Now, twice as tough means that um, I guess I'm talking about the spring constant. So I'm talking. Well, I'm gonna let you define what twice as tough means. Does it mean half the spring constant or twice the spring constant? What is toughness, ultimately, is our question right here. Uh, on to the third question. In the third question, we are saying, given this function of the ball's position, what is the function that represents the ball's velocity as a function of time? And what is the function that represents the ball's acceleration? Oh, this is our new bell. You like it? It's not over. Whew, now it's over. So um, we're trying to figure out how the position and velocity and acceleration are related, but they're all functions of time. So you need to find somebody who knows calculus to get this, and then the final challenge is, can you verify Newton's second law with this? This gives us some really neat insights, and it's worth doing. Um, and finally, the fourth question is about uh, a mass slowing down. As the mass slows down, what happens to its frequency of oscillation. And this, uh, this is called damping, and it should not be confused with dampening, which is what happens if you are in St. Louis in the summer because it's humid, so things become damp. But rather, things become damped in physics, so uh, be really clear about that. Okay, so those are your four problems. Okay, fine. A bonus problem! This problem is about, well, um, I actually don't know what the heck this problem is about. It probably is about something like, uh, let's see. A mass on a spring. So this is a problem that I just wrote and I forgot that I wrote it. The problem has, <laughs> aw, <laughs> the problem has a spring slowing down and its frequency, which is, which is the previous question. But the bonus question asks, what's going on with a plate when I set it down on a dinner table and the plate goes wobble, 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 wobble. And it reminds me of gravitational waves, the, uh, the chirp that was observed. So I kind of want you to reason or even mathematically argue what's causing that with a dinner plate. I mean, it happens with lots of things, but a dinner plate is kind of an obvious um, personal example of that sucker. So uh, good luck because that is a very interesting, you would think those problems are very similar, but they come up with really different um, answers. And I kind of want to get at why. Good luck.